Forget your Ferraris and your Lamborghinis, your Aston Martins and your Bugattis. When it comes to posters on bedroom walls and turning average Joes into bona fide gearheads, no car company compares with the granddaddy of them all, the muscle car. This year, we test drove the core four, the Ford Mustang, Chevy Camaro, Dodge Challenger, and the Dodge Charger. Each has its own loyal and sometimes rabid fan base, but all offer the same dream. A rumbling engine up front, squealing tires out back, and enough style to make Danny Zuko blush. Which one is right for you? Well, this year's Car Guru's Muscle Car Roundup can help you choose. The philosophy of the muscle car might be constant across the segment, but execution differs and times have changed, starting with the Ford Mustang. Although the celebrated 5-liter V8 is back in 2016, Ford also offers an impressive but diminutive 2.3-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder. Lest you worry about the new EcoBoost engine failing to live up to the word muscle, it still makes 310 horsepower and 320 pound-feet but it does so without draining the gas tank. The EcoBoost Mustang was such a hit when it debuted in 2015 that Chevrolet followed suit with its own 2.0-liter Turbo 4 in the 2016 Camaro. Just in case that couldn't match the EcoBoost Ford, there's also the SS and its 6.2-liter V8 nestled comfortably under the hood. The Chevy Camaro's power is hard to match, but Dodge has never really struggled with producing big engines. Both the Challenger and Charger offer a 485-horse, 475-pound-foot, 6.4-liter Hemi V8, not to mention the Hellcat's 6.2-liter supercharged Hemi V8, which blows the best Mustangs and Camaros out of the water with its stampede of 707 horses. Want to downsize? Don't expect a Mopar Turbo 4 in these cars anytime soon, but I suppose you could settle for the 5.7 liter V8. At this point, you probably realize middling fuel economy is a given. That's why Ford and Chevy made turbo fours. Still, each automaker also makes a V6 muscle car. They all come close to 30 miles per gallon on the highway and start in the mid to high $20,000 range. But if you don't want to own one of those rental fleet specials, Expect to shell out a minimum of 30 grand with the top of the line cars coming in closer to $50,000. That's a lot of money to spend on any car, but the muscle car offers a unique package. With back seats and trunk space, these are cars that can, and some would say should, be driven every day. A Mustang Coupe has 13.5 cubic feet of space in the trunk, features Ford's SYNC 3 infotainment system, and received a 5-star safety rating from the NHTSA. Not to mention, the Mustang is the original pony car, even if it is the least powerful muscle car in this roundup. After all, the Shelby GT350 is out there if you want the looks with even more speed. The Camaro can't measure up in cargo space, with the trunk offering only 9.1 cubic feet in the coupe and a depressing 7.3 in the convertible. It's not easy to see out of either, but the Camaro's MyLink infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is excellent, and it benefits from having the Chevy Corvette, which lent its magnetorheological suspension to the Camaro, share its parts. The Dodge Challenger and Charger seem to be the most family-friendly of the muscle cars, with huge trunks, an excellent Uconnect infotainment system, and a slew of optional, high-end safety features like blind spot warning and rear cross traffic alert. The Challenger succeeds with its retro throwback styling, and the available 18-speaker Harman Kardon stereo is exceptional, although we're not sure we choose music over the V8's rumble. The Charger offers a unique level of everyday usability, four doors. Not just that, but the V6 chargers can be bought with all-wheel drive, and all of them, even the Hellcat, offer latch anchors for child seats. So the Mustang delivers on the look and feel of the original pony car, 
while the Camaro and its Corvette suspension performs like a true sports car. With its long hood, high belt line, and monstrous engine, the Challenger might just be the rawest muscle car of the bunch, and outside of Tesla, the Charger is probably the fastest way to get your toddlers to daycare. Head to the comments to let us know which one you'd choose, and be sure to subscribe for more CarGurus roundups and videos. Thanks for watching.